Sex Education is a popular, highly rated British comedy drama series on Netflix. It has captured the attention of viewers through its combination of heartfelt charm and quirky and at times awkward comedy. The series is centered around a teenager named Otis Milburn, played by Asa Butterfield, and his well-known sex therapist mother named Dr. Jean F. Milburn, played by Gillian Anderson. It features an enormous cast of characters, both young and old. Throughout the series, the audience gets to watch Otis, Dr. Milburn, and all the other characters navigate their romantic relationships and funny interactions with all the people in their lives. The critically acclaimed show has had two seasons so far. The first one was about Otis setting up a sex advice business with a friend, an unusually confident social outcast named Maeve Wiley, played by Emma McKay. The second one is about Otis's new relationship with Ola Nyman, played by Patricia Allison, as well as the introduction of new students at Moordale High and a chlamydia outbreak. Now, the show is set to return with an all-new third season. Today, we're talking about everything you need to know about sex education, season three. You don't want to miss this. Please be aware that there will be spoilers for season one and two of sex education. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter this giveaway. It's really that simple. First up, let's talk about the release date. Netflix confirmed that a third season of Sex Education is in the works. The announcement that a new season was coming was made by headmaster Michael Groff, played by Alistair Petrie, in a video released online. The show has received very high ratings from critics and audiences, so it should come as no surprise that it was renewed for another season. The season was already supposed to be filmed during 2020, but was delayed due to the global health situation. The show takes place in a fictional town in the beautiful Welsh countryside and just so happens to be filmed in Wales. Unfortunately, the region was not spared from the global health situation. Regardless, filming was unable to resume in September. Netflix made the announcement on Twitter on September 9, 2020, that the show had resumed filming by posting a picture and eggplant emojis. The first two seasons of Sex Education were released in January of 2019 and 2020. It was originally assumed the next season would come out in January like the previous ones. However, it was recently announced that the next season will be released in the summer of 2021. This is unquestionably due to the delay caused by the global health situation. It looks like fans of the series will just have to wait a little bit longer to see what happens in their favorite characters' lives in the new season. Even though the show has been delayed, excitement for the new season has risen substantially, no doubt as a result of the longer wait driving people's anxiousness. It is expected to head into an even more interesting direction beyond the premise it outgrew from the first season. After reading the script for the first episode of season three, Three, Asa Butterfield said he was very happy with it. He was quoted as saying, It didn't go where I anticipated it to, and a few things have changed. I'm excited. Next, let's talk about who will be in the next season of Sex Education. When season three of Sex Education was announced, many series regulars were featured in the video, such as Otis, Gene, Maeve, Headmaster Groff, Eric Effiong, played by Cuddy Gatwa, Amy Gibbs, played by Amy Lou Wood, Adam Groff, played by Connor Swindles, Jackson Marchetti, played by Keeter William Sterling, Ola Nyman, played by Patricia Allison, and Lily Iglehart, played by Tanya Reynolds. Other returning cast members include The Untouchables' Olivia Hannon, played by Simone Ashley, Ruby Matthews, played by Mimi Keane, and Anwar, played by Chanel Cooler. The season will also have Amy's boyfriend, Steve Morley, played by Chris Jenks, Miss Emily Sands, played by Raki Thakar, Mr. Colin Hendricks, played by Jim Howick, Jacob Nyman, played by Michael Persbrandt, Adam Adam's mother, Maureen Groff, played by Samantha Spiro, Jackson's mother, Sophia Marchetti, played by Hannah Waddingham, and Roz Marchetti, played by Sharon Duncan Brewster, and Otis's dad, Remy Milburn, played by James Purefoy. Some new returning cast members from season two are French transfer student Rahim, played by Sammy Audelbali, the smart tutor Vivian Viv Odusani, played by Cheyenne Ezadu, and Maeve's new neighbor Isaac, played by George Robinson. Season three will see the addition of Jason Isaac from the Harry Potter films and Star Trek Discovery. He will play Peter Groff, Headmaster Groff's older and more successful brother. Apparently, Adam's father was staying with him after he broke things off with his wife, Maureen. Season 3 will also add Gemma McKirk from the Showgirls. She will play the school's new headmistress named Hope. She will replace Headmaster Groff since he was kicked out of the school. Headmistress Hope was a former Moordale High student, which means she is eager to improve the school. 
Who knows what that might entail? The last major new cast member in season three is Dua Sala, who will play a gender non-conforming songwriter and recording artist named Cal. Cal will be a non-binary student who has trouble dealing with the new headmistress. It is uncertain if Anne-Marie Duff will return in season three as Maeve's mother, Erin Wiley, since they were on bad terms the last time they interacted with each other. Emma Mackey said, It broke my heart to shoot certain scenes between Maeve and her mother, but it's a challenge that I love. Adding, I live for that. Also, Maeve's brother, Sean Wiley, played by Edward Blumel, was featured in the first season, but didn't return in season two. Perhaps he will come back for the third. Next, let's talk about what will happen in season three of Sex Education. One of the greatest things about Sex Education is how series creator Lori Nunn is able to juggle all of the different plot lines of the numerous characters in the show simultaneously. As fans of the series are well aware, there are many characters, relationships, and conflicts going into the next season. That is what keeps audiences coming back for more. The the biggest question is, of course, about whether or not Maeve and Otis will get together. Ola and Otis broke it off and Ola decided to get together with Lily, which is a whole new storyline that will surely be explored. Otis left a voicemail on Maeve's phone confessing his true feelings for her, but Isaac intervened since he likes Maeve and deleted the message. At the end of season two, Maeve and Otis revealed their feelings for each other, but things didn't go well after that. Perhaps we will see them finally get together in season three. That said, as mentioned, Maeve's mother Erin also had a drug relapse, and Maeve had her little half-sister Elsie taken away by social services. So she has a lot on her plate going into next season. Who knows if Maeve will be ready for a relationship with all of that going on. She may have to spend a lot more time resolving the issues with her mother. Believe it or not, the director, Ben Taylor, actually revealed that he shot an alternative ending where Otis and Maeve got together. This is obviously what most fans of the show really want to happen, but it would totally remove the conflict from the show, which is one of the driving plot points. It just goes to show that even though the characters and their lives can seem so real, the people making it can suddenly change things, which can have a huge impact because they are really just parts of a story that can be altered anytime. Season three will begin with Otis probably thinking Maeve is mad at him after his outburst at the house party. This will cause him to be afraid to speak with her, which is in line with his character. He will avoid dealing with it since he is socially awkward until they finally have the opportunity to resolve the problem. With that in mind, if they are going to get together, it will probably happen later in the season. It was also revealed that Jean is pregnant. She discovered the pregnancy after she broke up with Jacob, who is apparently the father. Jean kisses her ex, Remy, which led to the falling out with Jacob. The question is, will they get back together if he finds out the baby is his. Gillian Anderson was quoted as saying, she initially thought the character of Jean was too complex. This resulted in her trying to make some changes. However, she eventually discovered she liked that Jean had many layers to explore. Eric and Adam seemed to be getting along after he came to terms with his sexuality. Adam told Eric how much he cares about him, and Eric chose him over Raheem. So, everything seems to be good between them. Also, Adam's parents got divorced, and his family is in disarray. It is likely the relationship between Adam and Eric will be explored more in season three. Last season, Amy was sexually assaulted on a bus while she was heading to school. This was obviously quite traumatic for her, but Maeve and the girls in detention helped her address her feelings and feel a bit better. She went through many stages of dealing with the trauma throughout the season, and it is possible this will carry over into season three. It will be interesting to see how her character develops as she continues to recover from that incident. We saw Jackson develop as well. He has begun to talk about his mental health and move on from just being a jock. He has tried to be a bit more of an everyman and tried to become happier. As a result, he and Viv became friends and the pair even joined Lily's adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. Who knows where this road will take him in season three. Lastly, let's talk about the future of sex education. Series creator Lori Nunn has said she wants to keep the show going beyond season three, so it is quite possible there will be more. However, she thinks that it will end before the high schoolers go to college because it would be odd to see the characters that are too old playing young people. She estimated that it could go for as many as four or five seasons. So keep a lookout for future developments in the series. That wraps up our video about everything you need to know about Sex Education Season 3. We'll see you next time.